I'm Anya Cook. This is my husband, Derek, and our daughter, Anea. Two years ago, a miscarriage nearly killed me. At 16 weeks, my doctors told me to prepare for a stillbirth. I needed care. But my state's abortion restrictions kept it from me. I miscarried in a bathroom. I'll never forget my husband's face as he tried to stop the bleeding, trying to do what doctors should have been doing. When I reached the hospital, I'd lost nearly half the blood in my body. I can't change the past, but I can, we can, choose a different future. I'm Craig Sicknick, and this is my mother, Gladys. My brother was a U.S. Capitol Police officer, Brian Sicknick, a hero who died after defending our country on January 6th. My family knows how dangerous Trump is. He incited the crowd while my brother and his fellow officers were putting their lives at risk. We need a real leader, not an autocrat who is stuck in the past. Brian, we miss you every day. I'm Gail DeVore. I've had type 1 diabetes since I was 11. Stressing about insulin cost has been a constant in my life. President Biden and Vice President Harris have moved mountains to help. Medicare can finally negotiate prescription drug prices. <laughs> insulin is capped at $35 for Medicare recipients. And when elected, Kamala Harris plans to extend that cap to the rest of us. That's the future I want. That's the future I am voting for. I'm Wani Romero, owner and CEO of Mothership Coffee in Las Vegas. I put in work to build my business. When COVID hit, this administration's support kept us moving. I hired staff and we grew. We've more than doubled in size since the pandemic and it's just not us. Over the last four years, 19 million new business applications have been filed. Like Trump, I grew up in Queens, but unlike him, I built my business with grit. That's my story. That's the American story. Let's turn the page on Trump. I'm Eric Fitz, and these are my sons, Christian and Carter. I always try to set an example for my boys, to teach them compassion, accountability, and resilience. I want those values to be reflected in our leaders. I don't want to have to turn off the TV because our president is lobbing insults or telling lies. I'm tired of all of the hate. It's time to move forward together and build a country our kids can be proud of. <laughs> 